What's up, Rebels? It is Chunky Monkey 40 here with another, um, I guess I'm building the General Lee again. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I already did a video just like this for the normal Imponte Dukes, how to build the General Lee in GTA 5. Now I'm doing an updated version with the Imponte Beater Dukes because this one you can actually get a lot more accurate to the 69 Dodge Charger than you could the regular Imponte Dukes. So let's get right into it. But first, before we get into it, I would like to make a few disclaimers. So if there's anybody watching this video, who is just a fan of the Dukes of Hazard and doesn't know anything about GTA 5. Unfortunately, because Rockstar is a bunch of libtards, they do not have the Confederate flag in the game as an option to put on the top of the car, but they do have an option to put flags on the top of the car. So in this video, we will be using the Norwegian flag as a replacement for the Confederate flag because we cannot use it. But the Norwegian flag looks just like the Confederate flag for the most part, except for the fact that it's shaped like a cross instead of an X. But I mean, hey, people are so stupid in today's society, people have literally gotten offended by the Norwegian flag thinking it's the Confederate flag. That's how fucking stupid liberals are. <laughs> but all right, guys, let's get right into it. By the way, fucking, I know I sound like Steve-O, so quit pointing it out in the comments section, even though I think those comments are fucking hilarious. So now let's get into customizing this car. Armor, it already has it on there 100%. Brakes, race brakes, I've already got that on there too because I've already customized this car before. Front bumpers, so basically now this is when we start to repair the car. Now you do not have to do this if you want it to look like a general lead jump car because if you guys don't know, the Ponte Beater Dukes looks literally just like the General Lee jump cars that after they would like, you know, fly that thing over a river or over Roscoe's police car or something and the front's all fucked up. So if you want to keep it damaged, you can do that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to customize it mint so that it looks nice and repaired. So the repaired stock bumper is the one you would want to put on it for the nice look. But if you want to keep it looking damaged, just keep the damaged stock front bumper. Co anyways, continuing on engine upgrade four, you always want to upgrade the engine because it's the General Lee. It's got to smoke all the other cars. It's got to be as fast as possible. Explosives, you do not, well, I guess you can put some explosives in there if you want to because uh, the Dukes did use dynamite sticks after all, but I would not recommend wiring your General Lee with explosives. Fenders. For this one, I'm going to do repaired fenders because it just looks so much cleaner that way. The grill, we could actually get the exact grill that comes on the 69 Dodge Chargers, so the crown grill is what we would like to use for that. Four hoods, you can actually get the exact hood that they had on the General Lee in the show, which was the inset hood. And actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the stock 69 Dodge Charger hood. So you definitely want to put that on there because it looks badass. I genuinely wish I would have had this car when I shot Dukes of Hazard 5 because then I could have used this in it and it would look more accurate. And now my comment section is going to be filled with comments like, why didn't you use the Imponte Beater Dukes? Well, because it wasn't out yet when I made the fucking video. Because <laughs> we shot all of uh, Dukes of Hazard 5 through out January, February, and March. Horn, you go to musical horns, and then you go all the way down to musical horn one, because that's the general lease. Well, it's not exact, but you get the point. Lights, uh, you can put uh, these lights on there if you want to. I personally wouldn't recommend it because it's a classic car, and classic cars don't usually have the brightest of lights. Uh, livery, uh, I don't recommend any of these either, because then you won't be able to see the orange paint, and plus these all look literally retarded. I wish they would have done a livery of the General Lee or like at least like a knockoff of it to at least pay homage to it but they didn't do anything like that so that was kind of disappointing. Louvers, you do not want louvers on here because it is the General Lee and that, that just that those things honestly look stupid in my opinion. You can put them on there if you want. It's your car. I don't really care. But then for the mirrors, we could actually get the exact mirrors from the General Lee so we could put the cone mirrors on there. For the plate, I have a custom plate so I put the CNH 320 which was the plate on the General Lee. If you would like to get a custom plate, I will link a video in the description that will show you how to get a custom license plate on your car. Do not spam it in the comment section because I'm telling you right now that there is a video linked in the description about where you can get a custom license plate for the car. So next we're actually going to skip over respray for now. Now for the roll cages we want to do the roll cage and chassis upgrade because well the generally had a roll cage so we need that. The roof. Now some people put the American flag on there. Some people for some stupid reason put the British flag on there. I see some people with the Jamaican flag on there and for some dumb 
dumbass reason, everyone decides to put the Scottish flag on there, which looks disgusting with the orange paint. But me, I put the Norwegian flag on there because it matches. It literally looks a lot like a Confederate flag, just especially from this angle. Like if you zoom in on it, it looks a lot more like the rebel flag than any of the other flags. It's basically a rebel flag without stars and not shaped like an X. So that's why I use the Norwegian flag. And I would use the Confederate flag if I could, but it's not in the game and it's not an option, so I can't, which sucks ass because people don't understand the true meaning of it and they all decide to think, oh, it's racist, it's racist. When in reality, if you do your research, it isn't. So now we're gonna go back up to respray and what you do is you put a metallic and then you go all the way down to the sunrise orange. But we're not done yet though. Then you go to pearlescent and you put a black pearlescent on there because you see that white glow right there? That looks like shit. You wanna get rid of that and the way to get rid of that is by putting on either a black pearlescent or you could put on a sunrise orange pearlescent as well. But I personally think the black one works the best. Going on down to the secondary color, you just chrome it out. If you don't have chrome, do silver or something, or you could just keep it black, whatever. Because, I mean, honestly, black doesn't look that bad. But if you got chrome, put some chrome on there, man. Looks decent. And the crew emblem. Now, the crew that I am in is full. Because when I made my video, I linked my crew down below in the description, which was, I forget, the, I think it's the General Lee 1979 crew or something. Well, I linked it in the description of my video, and then everyone joined it. I didn't think the video was going to go that big. It's got, like, I don't even know how much views. So now, just like what I did with the license plate, I will link a video in the description on how to get a custom crew emblem. And all you gotta do is you go onto the Rockstar Games Social Club website and you search up any keyword that revolves around General Lee, Dukes of Hazard. You could type in Duke 01, Hazard County, Dukes of Hazard, General Lee. Any of those, you could just type that right into the Rockstar Games Social Club search engine and you will find a crew that has an 01 available. That's how you get the 01. Continuing on from the 01 though, spoilers, you don't want to put a spoiler on there. The General Lee never had a spoiler. Suspension, you can lower it if you want to, but because of the fact that it's kind of an off-road vehicle, I'm not going to lower it. Transmission, you want to up that, but I can't because obviously I'm broke as shit. I barely play GTA 5 anymore because this game is basically dead. I'm really only on here because they added in a new Dukes of Hazard car, so figured I'd make a video on it. Turbo, you want to add that on there too, but I can't afford it. For the wheels for the General Lee, you just click on muscle, then you click on stock rims, and then you go up one, and it takes you straight to the mercenary wheels. You put those on there, and then you keep the color exactly as it is, because that was the color of the wheels on the General Lee. Now, tire design. In the movie, they had custom tires on the car, meaning they had the white lettering on their car, and John Schneider even has the white lettering on his General Lee. You do not have to do this, but I'm gonna do it because I like the way it looks. Tire enhancements, bulletproof tires, always put bulletproof tires on your car. But I didn't because I'm fucking broke. Tire smoke, another good idea is if you're gonna use this in skits, put some brown tire smoke on there so that it creates an enhanced dirt look when you do a drift or something or burn the tires. Wheelie bar, there was no wheelie bar on the General Lee. Windows, they did not have tinted windows on the General Lee. And that is it, y'all. That's how you build the General Lee out of the Impante Beater Dukes. Ooh, that was a nice slick little jump. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for plenty of Dukes of Hazard related videos. I went to Bo's Extravaganza and I uploaded eight videos from Bo's Extravaganza, including exclusive interviews with John Schneider. And then across my entire YouTube channel, you can find a ton of Dukes of Hazard skits in GTA 5, including Roscoe's Old Car, Dukes at Fault, Lee vs. Lee, and Motorized Civil War. Motorized Civil War, personally, I think is the best. Coming soon to my YouTube channel there will be another oh fuck off dude what a douchebag he's gonna hit my fucking car but coming soon to the youtube channel hopefully sometime soon anyways dukes of hazard episode number five i need to just get dedicated i need to sit down one day and just finish up the cinematics and start sending out the uh script to voice actors because this video guys i'm i literally have a dukes of hazard movie it's gonna be literally the exact length of the actual dukes of hazard episodes it's gonna be upwards of 40 minutes long and it'll be released soon on my youtube channel i cannot say very much about the episode but i can't can tell you one thing and that is that if you are a Dukes of Hazard fan you will absolutely love 
this project that I'm working on. I'm very excited to do it. I just need to get dedicated because sitting in the Rockstar editor for so long, it just gets so boring after a while, man. It just, it gets, it gets annoying because I'm, I'm really trying hard to make these, make it as cinematic as possible and do the greatest job possible on it. And I don't want to sit down and force myself to do it. I want to do it when it feels right. And that's why it's taking so long to do the video, especially because there are some uh, big names to say the least that uh, are gonna be hopefully a part of this project. So I wanna make sure it's done to the highest quality possible. And I will keep you guys updated on the YouTube channel as to when that video is done. But anyways guys, without setting out of the way, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com. This was my tutorial on how to build the Imponte Beater Dukes. Stay Rebel, y'all. Tell some good old boys Never mean no harm Beats all you ever saw in a trouble